Hello everyone, and welcome to another RimPy tutorial. I'm trying my all-new streaming setup today, uh, complete with my webcam, which is actually turned on this time. Um, so I'm getting ready to do kind of a soft relaunch slash rebranding of the channel, so be looking for that very, very soon. Uh, we've got some really cool things that are coming up. Still going to be making RimPy tutorials about one per week, hopefully, just like I've been doing, uh, but I'm going to be expanding a lot and trying a whole bunch of new things. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and get into today's RimPy tutorial. So in this one, we're going to be going a little bit further with our customization options that we started in the last video. So if you haven't seen that one, be sure to check it out first because we're going to be expanding on the things that we did in that video. So just to remind you where we were on that one, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull that up real quick just so we can see what we did there. There we go. So that is our new menu screen. Um, as you can see, we've got our custom uh, menu background and then our custom font uh, for the menu there on the left, which we, uh, we did all of that last time. So uh, I did mention briefly before that I prefer to have all of our menu options on the bottom of the screen instead of on the left side. That is just my personal preference. If you like it here, you're welcome to leave it there. Using the trick that I'm about to show you, you can actually move it to the right side or to the top, wherever you want it with some, uh, with some very minor adjustments. But I'm going to show you how I like to do it. Um, so the other thing um, that we're going to do is we're going to add a transparent background behind our menu. Um, which we had by default, and I had to cover that up when we put the new uh, when we put the new menu screen on here. But I'm going to show you how to add that back in. All right, so let's go ahead and close that, and let's get into it. So uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to check out our uh, GUI folder, the GUI folder. So be sure you have your project selected, and then under Open Directory, we're going to go to GUI or GUI, and then we're going to go to Overlay, the Overlay folder. And in here, I've got my main menu, which we set last time. And I also have this uh, a new graphic in there called Main Menu Overlay. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Uh, if I pull up just the image, it looks just black because it's on a black background. Uh, so you can't really tell what that is. But let me pull that up in Photoshop. And this is what that image actually is. So um, I've created a transparent box with a gradient where it gets darker towards the center and then a little bit lighter on the outside. Again, that's just a personal preference. You can do it all one solid color. Um, if you have Photoshop or another photo, ed photo editing software that you know how to use, this is pretty simple. I'm not going to go into this right now. Um, however, if you would like to see me do some basic Photoshop tutorials where I show you how to do this sort of thing feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll see about doing that in the future but for now um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it like this um, so uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check in our screens.rpy uh, script file um, or not script file but a, a RPY file rather so if you go under edit file and then find screens.rpy. I'm not going to click that because I've already got it opened, but that's the screen that we're looking for. And if you scroll down to um, a little bit past line 280, mine starts on about 284, um, you should see a section called main and game menu screens. And this basically um, is the file that sets up all of the screens, the menu screens that you use in the game. Pretty much everything that you see is set up here and you can customize all of it if you know how. So uh, in the near future, I'm gonna get more into screen language and how to do custom screens and, and uh, creating your own custom menus from scratch. I'm not gonna get too in depth with, depth with that right now. I'm just gonna show you how to alter the existing screens to get some effects uh, that you might want. Um, so just like in the last video, I highly recommend uh, creating a backup of this uh, first before you start altering things or just start a fresh, a fresh uh, uh, game that you don't mind if things get screwed up and you can always just, you know, kind of wipe it and then start over again. That's really what I recommend doing. Um, but if you want, again, just create a backup of this, then you can do whatever you want. And if you screw something up, just load the backup back in. All right. So you can see on here that uh, right now I'm looking at the navigation screen. And under here, we have screen navigation. And this is what we are going to be altering right now. So this, start, history, save, load, preferences, all of this stuff, um, this basically controls how our main menu works. So if I pull our game back up, we have the start, 
load. We have a bunch of these things here. Now notice that doesn't show all of them because we're on the main menu screen. Again, we're gonna get more in depth later, but depending on if you've already started a game or different things like that, you're gonna have different options over here. Um, but we don't have to worry about that right now. Just know that everything right here is basically this menu screen is what we're looking at. And it starts with a V box and a V box is a vertical box. It's kind of like an invisible container that holds a bunch of values. So if you can imagine on the left side of the screen, we have an invisible box that goes vertically from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. And inside that box is all of these elements right in the middle of it, all of these different items. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is above our V box, we're going to add another element. So we're going to type in add, and then we're going to type in the path to our overlay that I showed you earlier, that gradient overlay, which mine is in GUI slash overlay slash, and then it's main menu overlay separated by underscores. Uh, dot png and be sure that that is in double quotes this is going to look for a string value so i'm going to save that and now when i run it it's going to have that overlay on top of our main menu there we go so now you can see that transparent gradient overlay is down there at the bottom and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our text in there. So right now, like I said, we're using a V box or a vertical box container. What we're going to do is change that to an H box. We're going to make it a horizontal container. And when you create a container like that, you can tell it exactly where you want it to be on the screen. Um, so right now, yeah, it says V box. It's got all of this stuff and we're just going to alter some different values in here. I do want to talk for just a moment about how to do positioning on the screen. So if you can remember back to doing, um, the C Cartesian coordinate plane or a coordinate graph, uh, back when you were in grade school or probably up through high school, I, I did this a lot in algebra too. You know that you have like an X axis and then a... Uh, y-axis, so x-axis is horizontal, y-axis is vertical, and then positive values go to the right on the x-axis, negative values go to the left, positive values on the y are up, and negative values are down, and in the very middle is a zero point. Uh, so computer graphics work a little bit differently. The same basic idea is there, but instead of the zero point being in the middle of the screen, the zero point is at the top left corner of the screen. Aside from that, the X values work the same. Positive values go to the right. So basically this is zero up at the top left corner and the top right corner is 1.0. So zero is at the top left, 1.0 is at the top right on the X axis. The Y axis, however, is backwards. Zero is still at the top but going down no longer goes negative like we learned in school. Going down goes positive. So zero is at the very top left, 1.0 is at the bottom right. So if we use like an XY coordinate, zero, zero is at the top left, uh, then one, zero is at the top right, zero, one is at the bottom left, that's zero on the X, and then one on the Y, and then one, one is at the bottom right. One on the X, one on the Y is at the very bottom right. So if you wanted it to be halfway across the screen on the X axis, it would be 0 0.5. If you wanted it to be halfway down on the Y axis, it would be 0 0.5. So I hope this makes sense as I'm explaining it and we'll kind of see that in practice right now. Um, so right now it says style prefix navigation, which we're going to leave. And actually we're gonna change this V box to an H box. That's all we have to do to make it a horizontal box. It is that easy. And again, the style prefix we're going to leave alone for right now, but here we have X position and then Y align. So the X position tells the uh, tells it where you want it to be on the um, on the X axis, uh, like exactly where you want the X box the uh, H box to be. The Y align it tells you how you want the text aligned. So right now it's saying 0 0.5. So all of the text, oops, I've got two of those open. All of the text is aligned in the middle. 
Um, so again, the center point of the text uh, of the menu is going to be the center point of the screen on the y-axis. That is halfway down, 0 0.5. All right. Um, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to make that to where it is in the middle of the screen uh, on the x-axis, but along the bottom of the screen, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this um, x position, and it's using a variable for that, gui.navigation.xpos x position. Um, we're just going to get rid of that right now, and we're just going to use align values. So we're going to use x align and then y align. Now, I've played a lot with these values, and I've kind of figured out what works and what doesn't. I encourage you to also play around with these values. You probably aren't going to break anything if you mess with these too much. Uh, you might cause things to look a little bit weird, but again, just create a backup or I'll show you another option you can do is just to comment out a line. So if you want to change something and see what it does, then just put a hashtag, put a number sign in the beginning. That is a shift three on your keyboard. And that will make that line a comment where the program won't read it. That's readable only by you. And then you can run that program um, just like normal and everything should work fine, just that line won't be there. Now, if that line is inte inte integral to the program, then it might break, but for now, yeah, see what that did? So I took away that um, X align, and I changed it to, or I took away the X position, rather, and changed it to a horizontal box. So now it's automatically aligned on the far left of the screen, still in the middle on the Y axis, still on 0 0.5, and yeah, it's like right in the middle. So we're gonna change that to where it's 0 0.5, I'm sorry, 0, 0.0 on the uh, on the X align. Um, and then uh, on the Y align, we're gonna do 0 0.25. Let me go ahead and show you what this is gonna do. All right, so X align, we're gonna say 0, 0.0, and then X align, 0 0.25. Actually, oh, my God, I, I just realized, I'm sorry, I'm using a uh, uh, reference value here on the right, and I just realized I'm doing this entire thing wrong. So give me just a second. Let me get that back to where it was. Let me just control Z. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. We're going to leave that one there. Um, let me see. That's it. So yeah, as you're doing this, you are probably going to make mistakes and change things up a little bit that you didn't mean to. It's no big deal. Uh, Control Z is your friend. Just undo to get back where you wanted, uh, where you wanted to be, or just load in your uh, backup that you created. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to change our X align. We are going to do X align. We're going to change that to 0 0.5 because we want that in the middle of the screen on the X axis. That's the horizontal axis. And the Y align, we're going to put at 0 0.95. So remember, if it's 1.0, it's going to be all the way at the bottom. So 0 0.95 is going to be almost all the way at the bottom, but not quite. And then X align is going to make sure that that is centered on the middle of the screen. So everything looks nice and even. All right, let's go ahead and control S to save that. Um, I'm gonna have to reload it. And let's see what that looks like. There we go. That looks a whole lot better. So now, um, yeah, the reason that I don't like that to be on the left is because I like a nice big title screen and having that on the left just takes up a lot of horizontal space that I don't like. So I'd rather have it way down uh, way down on the vertical and uh, yeah, get out of the way of all of your characters up there and everything should still work just fine. So if I go to preferences, like all of that works just like it did, return. And now you can see everything's kind of changing dynamically. Um, let me see, you can go to about and then return. So all of that works. There still is a little bit of cleaning up that we might be able to do. There's a little bit of uh, conflict there, but uh, we can worry about that another time. So I am very, very happy with the way that everything is working so far. All right, so that will about do us for this video. Um, so if you got something out of this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. As I said before, I've got lots of great content coming up. I've got some new stuff that I am really, really excited about uh, showing to the world. Um, so be sure you stick around. We've, we've, we've got really, really good things on the way. So until next time, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.